Hi everyone, it's Milestone Card Explainer time again. So this is number four. I've got my cards here again. I'm gonna give them another quick shuffle and see what we come up with. Today we've got Bounce Back Agility. The card says we got knocked down, but we didn't sulk about it. We got back up, we dusted ourselves off, and we went again. So why is that an important milestone in a team's journey towards greatness and team mastery? Well, most teams that are operating in a self-organizing manner are doing so because they're in a complex space where micromanagement isn't the right answer. There isn't a way of finding out the right way and telling them how to do it. This team needs to work out how to do things. And they're gonna be trying things that haven't been done before. They're gonna be experimenting and they're gonna be running the, running the risk of failure, whisper it carefully. And so when there is that risk, we're gonna fall down, you know? And we need to be able to learn to get back up because the alternative is we try and overplan things. We try and put some bureaucracy or process in place for a recovery plan. We try and think up all the things that, that could happen that could go wrong. But if we can develop a habit and develop the skill of being able to recover when we do hit some inevitable bumps in the road, then we can roll with things a lot easier. We don't worry about it. It's not too much of an issue. We can, we can just keep going. It's not easy, it's not easy. Um, and we take it personally and we do reflect it. And that's a good thing, you know? I think we should think, okay, that didn't work. Yeah, that doesn't feel brilliantly uh, because I don't wanna do the same mistake again. So I want enough pain for it to be something I don't want to do again, but not enough that it makes me want to quit. Now, to begin with, getting knocked down and then getting back up again could be quite tiring, especially if we're doing it multiple times and we haven't developed that bounce back agility. Those muscles haven't been strengthened. But eventually, we'll get so good at it that when we get back up, we'll be even stronger than before we were knocked down. And that's a fantastic place for a team to be. What can you do to help your team get there? Well, there are three things that I'm gonna suggest. One is develop a mantra. Find some phrase that works for you. Whether it's, we get knocked down eight times, we get back up nine. Or we either win or we learn. Whatever it is, get something that's short enough that you can repeat to yourself, that you can have posted around your team rooms, on your monitors, whatever. Develop that muscle memory of that phrase because that is your new mantra, that is your new team truth. Repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. The other is you're part of a team. So help each other, give each other energy. Look for where your teammates might be needing a bit of help to get back up off the canvas and keep going. To get off the, get off the road and cross that mar marathon finishing line. And accept help from your teammates. And the third is to celebrate every time that you do get back up. Take some time out to say, we got back up. That's a great thing. We should be proud of ourselves for that. We didn't quit. Try those three things and see if it helps your team go from good to great.